What's up guys, it's Dorf, you 14 Squad Builder, and today we're in a really cool Serie A Silver Squad, and it's in the 5-2-2-1 formation. I haven't actually tried it that much this year, and I thought I'd try it out with this team, because yeah, it has got some really cool players in. So, the first player is obviously the goalkeeper, and that is Body. and for 2,000 coins, he's actually a really good price. He's got some really good reflex and diving stats. Not the best of speed, that's probably the one let down for him, because when you do bring him out, he's really slow to get back on his line. Next up in the team, I thought I'd set up the parameters, and that is Demao the... Uh, De Mayo, or the, I don't know, but uh, he's a French centre-back, and he's got some really good stats for his silver, especially the pace and defending and heading, really good stats for his centre-back, and for 2,000 coins, really good price for him, and the brilliant work rates for a centre-back. Next up, we do have Kubali, and he has 10,000 coins, so quite an expensive price, he may have come down by now, he might be only 5, so not bad of a price for him, and he has got really good strength, I think he's got 94 strength or 93, I'm not quite sure, but uh, a really solid centre-back, I think trying out these two would be absolutely fantastic in a team. And the final centre-back is a Greek guy, and it is... Um, Ukinamo, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he's okay, he's got some okay stats on his card, not a, the most expensive card in the world, and if you want an okay uh, Serie A centre-back, he's a pretty good choice. Next up in the left wing slot, we do have Didek from uh, AC Milan, and he's actually a really good choice, I'd probably say he's probably the best uh, silver left-back, that may be a bit of a misjudgement, there is a really fast one from Hellas Verona, I actually haven't tried him out this year, but uh, I'd say he's a lot better than Balzarati, that's for sure, he's got some really good pace, really good passing, really good heading, and really good defending. Next up in the team we do have Rossi, I think that's how you pronounce his name, it may be Rossi, but he has actually got some pretty good stats on his card, obviously 82 pace, 72 defending and 71 passing and 71 heading are pretty good, I wouldn't say he's worth 2k, he's probably only worth 1, but I did buy this squad pretty much when the transfers did come out. Next up we do have a really good centre maker and that is uh, Parol, Parolo, um, 2000 coins I paid for him. And he has actually got a really good passing ability in this midfield. Not the best of work rates, probably high high would work this formation a lot better because medium medium is just not really that moving in the pitch and doesn't do the best of job. Next up we do have Christian Napolopoulos, I think that's how you pronounce his name, but I could be completely wrong. Um, not the best of work rates for a centre mid, that's for sure. He plays more like a left winger or a second strike, he's never in there, so it's basically... Parolo um, doing all the mid job in the midfield, but I think playing this guy in like a centre forward role would do quite nicely. Next up, we do have a Turbe, and he's one of the players from the Road to Roma. And for 23,000 coins, that's not bad of a price, especially with the four star skill moves. And saying that he does have 91 pace and 81 dribbling, some really good stats on his card. And I think he's got about 85 sh uh, shot power as well, so a pretty good card in this game. Unfortunately, I didn't score any goals, but he is actually quite good in the game. Next up, we do have uh, Stefanic, uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name, the Serbian right mid, and for silver, he's pretty darn good, and for only 1,000 coins, that's not bad at all. Um, 84 pace, 79 dribbling, 61 shot, and 68 passing. He did score a couple of goals and get one assist in his six games, so not bad at all for him. And the final player in this team is uh, Floro Flores, and I felt like this card would do a lot better than it actually is. It looks really cool, but he's not playing that well in the games. Um, only 450 coins, and so not bad at all. Maybe if I played a bit more with him. Unfortunately, he's only got two star skill moves, so that's a bit of a letdown. But generally, he's an okay striker with a really good heading ability. So, if you didn't do a squad builder, I definitely would suggest changing the uh, Greek centre mid and maybe changing the goalkeeper because he's not the best at getting back on his line, but making some ridiculous saves sometimes. So, yeah, if you didn't enjoy this squad, but it'll be fantastic if you could smash the like button. Subscribe if you're on your channel, and see you soon. Bye.